It's been a long time since I've heard a message like this, but I heard one the other day by a, a television preacher that was on late at night. And he was talking about how God was going to punish us, how we are all fallen and, and how we are all bad and how we are all evil. That is not my concept of God. We are beloved of God. We are a vital and eternal part of the creation. And I pray this week, as you turn to God in prayer, that you're blessed, that you are blessed with a greater realization that you are beloved of God. You are in doubt with God's Spirit, and therefore you are vitally alive. Your body, your body is charged with an ever-renewing current of divine life. Your mind, your mind is quickened with a new concept of prosperity and good coming your way. A fresh realization that God is the source of all blessing and all supply. Your heart, your heart is filled with peace, compassion, and understanding. I pray that you are vitally blessed. I pray that you are bountifully blessed. I pray that your life is full of promise. And so much so that you celebrate life with joy and with thanksgiving that you are awakened to a new awareness of a wonderful, triumphant spirit that God has given you. You are now and you are forever one with God and the goodness of God. Knowing that God's presence is ever with you, ever within you, leads you to understanding that you are God's beloved. In the Bible, it says this in Deuteronomy 33, verse 12, The beloved of the Lord, he dwells in safety by him. I pray today that you know, in this entire week that you know, that you are beloved of God. 